Good morning, everybody. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be afternoon. Um, a lot of us who are content creators have been talking about the social stresses. I've been focusing a lot on supply chain, situational awareness, um, Angry Prepper, Hudson Valley, all the folks I've collaborated with. Um, Texas Redleg and I did a live where we talked about trying to assess threats or dangers and then trying to execute plans against them. We try to bring some kind of value, you know, give you some action plan that you can take if you want to. Um, but I've posted in recent videos that you're gonna start seeing the stress fractures in society. And I guess a great way to, from an engineering standpoint to think about it when you take, say a, a concrete block, right? And you wanna test it, you start putting compression or you pull it apart in tension or you twist it, whatever you're doing to it. And at first it'll take the tension or the compression. Then you start to see, start to see little bits fall off. Then you start to see fractures. Ultimately the structure will collapse, right? It'll, it'll have a catastrophic failure from an engineering standpoint. That's what happens. Uh, and that's very simplified, but you guys get what I'm saying. I believe we're seeing that in our society right now. Um, you know, Economic Ninja has been pointing a lot about the financial side, but he's even saying you need to have, you know, three, six months of food. And when you have the economists telling you to stock food, that tells you something. Um, but I'm seeing it on the ground. Now, at the time I'm making this video, we've already had the 4th of July shooting. We've had cops that were specifically targeted in Philly. They're investigating uh, several cops who were chasing what was supposedly an unarmed suspect, but the suspect made a movement to be perceived as a threat. And all the cops fired at once and the guy got shot like 40 times, right? And you figure if it's six cops, they fire, you know, five rounds a piece, that's 30 right there. You're, you're, well, you know, it's it, it can add up quick if every cop fires the same way. Were they right or wrong, they're still investigating, right? We don't know. But there are other things that we're seeing uh, that are problematic and they're more at the ground level. Um, we tend to get fascinated with these things like the 4th of July shooting, which is tragic or the school shooting. Um, and it's coming from everywhere, right? Uh, the mass shooter in the subway in New York city was a black man. The kid in Uvalde was Latino. Uh, I don't know this ding dong in the 4th of July he looks like a very skinny ass white tattooed kid I don't know what his problem was but it's coming from everywhere now it's not like oh the white male or the black male or this guy or that girl it's everywhere um in Texas I normally only see one amber alert a month maybe and it's usually domestic like so and so kidnapped the child from the wife uh driving this vehicle if you see him call police right um this is these are the amber alerts i'm getting uh oh shoot wrong way sorry uh and it's probably looking backwards on your screen amber alert this was uh monday so this was july 4th child abduction in mcgregor texas unknown vehicle victims of 14 year old white female emily solomon 14 year old white female aisha cross unknown suspect somebody just grabbed two unrelated 14 year olds. Now, usually if you see them with the same last name, you're thinking, okay, mom or dad grabbed the kids and they're making a run for Mexico or Canada or something. Um, two unknown, two unrelated children, both females taken. Another one, uh, child abduction in Garland, Texas, vehicle unknown. Victim 17 year old Hispanic female, uh, Yadira Medina, last seen wearing black t-shirt, black sweatpants with a backpack. Suspect is Hispanic male who is connected with her abduction and they give a name, uh, David Maldonado. Um, again, another teenager. I literally had these hit me within 24 hours of each other this weekend. Um, the week before that, so the week last week of June, I had in my community neighborhood Facebook group and we tend to collaborate on crime stuff. Uh, somebody said her sister-in-law was jogging in a city park Middle of the day, like 10.30 in the morning, a guy came over, tackled her, then tried to mount her, like rape her, in the middle of the day, in a park full of moms and, and, and families that were in the park. It was during a work day, so it was mainly like stay-at-home moms who were, you know, running around with the strollers or going for their jogs, and some working guys who were doing the night shift, and they were at the park kind of getting their workout in. 
Uh, so people started making their way to the commotion and they wound up running this guy off. Actually, the young woman was smart. She couldn't run with a firearm, but she had one of those little like pencil tasers, like the little pocket ones in her yoga pants. And she zapped the shit out of the guy and got her off, got him off of her enough for her to flee and cause a commotion and then other people started to be attracted and he took off. They did catch this guy. I've uh, also had another case where a female was running. She stopped at an intersection, right? Cause there's freaking traffic. And a guy runs up, pulls her pants down, her yoga pants or whatever her workout pants were and proceeds to try to grope her. So she punched him cause she didn't know what else to do. And that seemed like a good idea. And I think it was a great idea. And she hit him a few times and then cars driving by saw this fight and they saw this guy pulling clothes off a woman and they stopped in the middle of the intersection and these you know these construction and energy workers start running toward the guy and he takes off they also caught him but this has been a string of shit like every week two or three times a week um there I've, I've heard other reports of teenage girls getting grabbed out of the high school they're walking home by themselves. They're getting grabbed at the bus stops in the morning. Folks, whatever the hell's happening, we're seeing the stress fractures in our society. And I know it's not just happening in Texas or in the United States. I'm sure, I'm damn sure it's happening in Canada. I know it's happening in Mexico. Uh, Europe, you're probably seeing the same thing. Australia, you're probably seeing it too. Um, what we've got is a society of people who have become emboldened they don't believe they'll face consequences. They think they'll get out of jail with a free card. And so they're just doing shit that's been in the recesses of the darkness of their minds. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to maintain your situational awareness. And a lot of people say, well, carry a gun. Don't just carry one. Train with it. You absolutely need competence. If can you draw while I'm running at you, hypothetically, can you draw running backwards effectively? Can you swap mags moving sideways? These are skill sets you can practice for free if you own a pew at your home. Um, if you have other defensive devices, you know, whether it's pepper spray or a taser, learn to take it from like the girl did. Apparently she had practiced. She has a little pocket on the left leg of her yoga pants. She put the taser upside down. So when she pulled it out, the prongs are facing out which most people wouldn't think of. So when she pulled it out, she didn't have to flip it around in her hand. It was pointed in the right direction and she just poked and away he went. Are you practicing stuff like that? Have you pre, pre, uh, pre-packaged, sorry, you've pre-placed things you may need in an emergency. This is not to cause fear, mind you. This is to create a situational awareness because this is stuff I'm seeing. And I'm not wearing a uniform anymore. I'm not law enforcement. I'm not a guardsman. I'm just a dude who's paying attention. But everyone should be doing this. And please educate your teenagers, especially the females, on situational awareness. I'm, I can't tell you how many kids I count. I go to the mall and they have beats on and they're looking at their phone completely. They can't, not only they're not looking around them, they can't hear what's around them. They're in their own little bubble. And these are the ones that are getting grabbed. These are the ones who are getting hurt. They're getting jumped. Folks, pay attention. Teach your kids to pay attention. They're not going to like you, parents. I, I promise you. Uh, I'm the dad who took a kid's cell phone and stuck it in the gun safe for two weeks because I was making a point. And mom didn't have the, the code either. I had the code. So I was the big kanuhuna in charge, and they had no cell phone for two weeks. Um... I did the same with car keys. I made my kids miserable at times, but damn, they pay attention to what's around them now, especially the girl. So ladies and gentlemen, I can't emphasize enough. We're seeing stress fractures in the Western societies. We're probably going to see them everywhere because they're rioting all over the country, all over the world right now. Pay attention. I'm going to do a video about a scenario of walking out of your office into a situation, but until I get around to compiling that, folks just pay attention this shit's getting serious and they're going after the kids they're going after people who can't fight back make sure that your loved ones understand what's going on don't have to scare the crap out of them but teach them awareness because that could save their life guys i'm gonna leave it at that i gotta get going for the work day god bless be safe and i will see you all later